I'm going to solve this puzzle using lots of Sudoku triplet examples. This was a subscriber request. Um, it wasn't the puzzle that he requested, but Tim Dolan requested that I do uh, solve puzzles using multiple examples of a, a specific technique. In this, te in this puzzle, I'm going to do triplets. Let's see how many triplets we can find as, as I go through this. I think there's over 10, actually. Uh, this is puzzle number 73 from Sudoku to Go, volume 107 by Soap Opera Digest. All right, well, I start off, um, we have a corner pattern here. And, uh, and by the way, the techniques and the patterns that I talk about are listed on sudokuprimer.com with write-ups about each one. So if you want to learn more about these techniques and patterns, you can go there. With this corner pattern here, we've got a 2 and a 6 in this column, so we know that that's a 2 and a 6 right there. All right, and with that, we have a our first set of triplets here. We've got a 1, 3, and 8 left in this box to complete. And there's a 1 and a 3 here, so we can put the 8 in right there. All right, now we've got a 4, 4, and a 4 right there. All right, now we've got another set of triplets right up here. We've got five numbers missing here, but we know these are 1, 3 twins. So these are triplets. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, and nine. With these three, um, with these triplets, we've got another set of triplets here. One, six, and eight. We can't solve the five, seven, and nines, but we can solve the one, six, and eight right now. All right. Okay, now we've got another set of triplets right here. Now what are those? Three, five, three, five, and nine. Can't solve them yet, but uh, that leaves one and eight here in this column. We can solve them. Okay, now we've got a, a three right there. All right, and with that three, let's see, we got a six, six, six right there. All right, a six right here. And a six there, and a six there. I think that's all the sixes in the puzzle. Okay, and now, now that we put a three, or I mean a six here, now we've got, let's look at this box right here, box six. We've got a diagonal pattern, and this one is bounded because there's two numbers here already, so all we have to look for uh, to find twins is in this column, and we've got a one, three, two, six. We've got a one and six here already, so these are two, three twins. We can't solve those yet, but here's another set of triplets right here. Those are one, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. And now, with this five, seven, and eight, we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and nine here. Okay, so another set of triplets there. We can't solve any of those, but we can get those in a minute. All right. Now with this five here, once we put this six in, we know that uh, one of these is a five. So we've got ghost fives here and a five there. So we know this is a five right there. And now we can solve the, uh, the other two numbers from this set of triplets, seven and nine. The reason we can do that, I'll just put these in right now. The reason we can do that is because We've got 
uh, nine right here and another corner pattern in this box three. With that corner pattern, we know the nine is bounded to one of these two cells. So we have ghost nines there, so we know that's a nine. All right, now we've got two and nine missing in row one and another set of triplets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, four, and seven. One, four, and seven goes there, okay? We know that's a seven because we got a seven there and seven there. And we can solve the one and four also. Okay. Let's see. Now we've got a four missing here. Another set of triplets. Okay, and then we've got a, a four, four, so we know that's a four right there. With that four, we can fill in this nine, because remember we had five, seven, what were these? Five, seven, eight triplets there and four, nine twins here. And we also know that the nine is bounded here and here in box nine and box three. So with that nine there, we can put this nine in. All right, so we found quite a few triplets already. All right, now we've got a five here, so we've got two and five missing there, so we can put those in. And we know this is a two right there because we have these triplets here and a two there. So neither of these could be a two, so that's a two right there. All right, so there, therefore that's a three. All right, now we've got triplets on the bottom row here. Three, three numbers missing, two, seven, and nine right there. There's a two and a nine, so that's a seven right there. We could have also seen that we had three, seven, and eight missing here. We have three and eight there. All right, now we've got two nine twins there and two nine twins there. So these are two nine twins right there. And we've got a two here and a two here. So we know one of these is a two. We know these are two nine twins. So using double column elimination, we can eliminate the twos from box one from these two col or box two from these two columns right here. Um, so the two goes there. And therefore that's a nine right there. And with that nine, we can fill in the two and nine there. Now I mentioned double column elimination. Um, if you're not familiar with that, or with any of these patterns or techniques I'm talking about, go to sudokuprimer.com and there's write-ups about a lot of these, uh, pretty much all these techniques and patterns I'm talking about. All right. Um, now we've got uh, <clears throat> one and a three missing here. We can solve them. How can we do that? Well, we've got another corner pattern right here. With that corner pattern, we see there's a one bounded to these, or restricted to these two cells, one of these two cells. And so therefore, that ghost one's there, so we know that's a one, that's a three. All right, and with that three, we can solve the three eights that we had in box nine. All right, now we've got, um, see now we've got another set of triplets here. And we've also got one number missing here. What's that? Let's see, three, two, six, four, nine, eight, four, nine, that's an eight. 
Okay, so now, now we have one, uh, let's see, one, five, one, five, seven triplets there, which we can't solve yet. But here, let's look at row six here. We're missing one, two, five, eight. I know this is a two because we have a two here and a two here, two there, so that's a two. So we're missing one, five, and eight. There's a one and an eight. One and eight there, so that's a five. So one of these is a eight, and that's an eight, because there's a one there, and that's a one. Okay. All right, now we're missing one and five here. Five. Five, one. So there's a one there, so we can solve the one and five right there. With that five, we got a five there. And we're missing a seven in box six. Okay, now what are we missing here? Five and seven. Okay, now we got another set of triplets here. What do we got? One, two, three. Three, eight, and nine. So that's an eight. Nine and three. And we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Seven and nine. All right. With the, all those triplets we found, we were able to uh, get through this puzzle pretty quickly and easily. All right, well, stay tuned. I'll try and do some other uh, puzzles where I really focus on one technique, like I did triplets on this one, in future videos. Thanks for watching.